Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Chris and today I have a delicious recipe for you, totally veganized, as well as a story. But we're gonna get to the story a little bit later in the video. First, we gotta start with the recipe. And what I'm gonna make today is a peach cobbler because peaches are in season. And I have some right here. So let's get right to it. Cooking with the vegan zombie. You make sure you have a very sharp knife. I just sharpened mine before this. And we're just gonna cut right down the circumference. We're gonna open it up and then we're gonna take that peach pit right out of there. The peach pit with that. You can peel them if you want, but it's not necessary. And in the zombie apocalypse, we don't really have time for that anyway. You also wanna make sure that they're ripe. Um, most of these are ripe, but there's a couple of these that are a little bit underripe. We're still gonna go with it. Now the smell and taste of peaches reminds me, uh, it gives me a little bit of a nostalgia feeling. Although I will admit, I never really liked peaches. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I'm gonna make this recipe and I'll tell you why. You will know why I'm making this recipe later on, even though peaches are not my favorite thing. Now you're gonna take that sharp knife you have and you're gonna start cutting just like this. So you have these nice little peach wedges. You know, you can use frozen uh, peaches. You could use canned peaches if you really want. I just want to use fresh ones and make my own kind of uh, syrup for them. Okay, so all these peaches are gonna go right into a nice big bowl, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'll make sure that brown sugar is vegan. I got some Domino's from the East Coast. And then I got a little bit of cinnamon. We're just gonna put a little bit in there. Just a few little shakes. One tablespoon of sugar in there along with the brown sugar. And we're just gonna take that and we are going to mix it together. And we got a nice little mix. It's already smelling really, really good. And on top of that, just a pinch of salt. Make sure you got your favorite vegan butter. Right here I have some Miyoko's. Miyoko makes really good butter. You could use Earth Balance or whatever other vegan butter. And I'm just gonna get a little bit right there. We're gonna go over to the stove, okay. All right, put your butter in the pan, just like that. And we're gonna put our pieces in. We don't wanna cook these for too long. We just wanna heat them up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna turn that flame down and we're gonna go back over to the counter. All right, now we're ready for our batter. Cup of flour, two third cup of sugar, teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a cup room temperature butter or liquid, half a cup of vegan milk, a little bit of cinnamon. Make sure you have your Christmas reindeer spatula or something close to that. And we're just gonna stir it. All those flavors are gonna come together. I'm gonna give it a nice stir. Get all those clumps out of there. Some people like the clumps, some people don't. This is looking good. And that's pretty much all you need to do. This is a very simple recipe. I got this nice cast iron Dutch oven. And this is how I choose to do this. We're gonna make this out on a campfire. So I've already got some butter in there. We got some Miyoko's butter lying in it. What we're gonna do right now is we're going to take the batter and we're just gonna pour it right in there. And look at that. Look at that just spread out just like that. So now we have a nice syrupy peach thing going on right here. I've turned the flame off and uh, I'm just going to pour this out into a more manageable bowl. Like that, we're just gonna pour that whole thing right on top, just like that. You do not wanna stir this in. Do not stir it in, just pour them all on top like that. So what's going to happen when we cook this is the batter is going to rise up and it's gonna go over the peaches and it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna put a lid right in like that. Now we're gonna take this out to the fire pit. Follow me. Okay, the fire is nice and hot. We're just gonna put that right over in here. Just like that. We're gonna leave this here for about a half an hour. 
but I also want to get some coals on the top. Here we're gonna put another piece of wood on. Okay, so a long time ago, back in the mid 80s, I was a Cub Scout and my parents brought me to a Cub Scout slash Boy Scout camp on two different occasions, two years. And I would stay there for a week at each time. And we would do all kinds of things that Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts do. I remember things that I didn't like, such as getting up at six in the morning and jumping in a freezing cold lake. We stayed in tents with lots of spiders in them. I've got a really funny story about a raccoon taking my candy bars out of my pillow while I was sleeping. But I have a peach cobbler story too. And on this particular day, my group of friends, we were the Cub Scouts, we were with some Boy Scouts. I don't re recall how many people there was, maybe 10 or 15 of us. And it was pouring out, it was raining really hard. And they had a Dutch oven and they were gonna make peach cobbler. I, I've never heard of peach cobbler at that point. I didn't know what it was, but the name sounded really cool. And the fact that they had this Dutch oven that they were gonna make a fire and put this Dutch oven with a peach cobbler on that and cook it themselves. There was something about that that just really made me want to try this peach cobbler so bad. And like I said, it was pouring out much like it did earlier today. So it's a perfect day to do this video. I remember the Boy Scouts, they were, they were huddled above the fire, which wasn't a fire yet. They just had a bunch of sticks there and they had their ponchos out to try to stop the rain. While a couple other Boy Scouts was trying to start this fire in wet wood and all that stuff. Me and a few other Cub Scouts were actually in a lean-to. <laughs> and I was on the top bunk, totally comfortable, dry from all the rain, just watching the Boy Scouts go to work, do their thing. They were making peach cobbler. I couldn't wait to try this. And as this was going on, they got the fire built and they had like a six foot fire. It was just like roaring. And uh, they just started feeding it wood, try to get a really hot fire going, some hot coals. And I just fell asleep. I was so comfortable, I just fell asleep. And then I, when I woke up, I looked around and I said, oh, wow, it must be done by now. And I said, hey, did you get that peach cobbler done? And they're like, oh yeah, it, they already made it and everybody ate it all. And I was like, what, there's none left? And they're like, yeah, there's none left, we all ate it. Oh my God, I've never had a peach cobbler, I wanted it so bad and, and, and they all ate it. I was so bummed out. And that was back in the mid 80s. And I never had a peach cobbler again in my life until about maybe a couple years ago. I can't even recall eating it because it wasn't, it was just like a pre-made peach cobbler from like the store. So this will be my first peach cobbler on a, in a Dutch oven on a, on a campfire. So I'm actually really excited about this. So we're gonna come back here in about 20, 20 minutes or so. And we're gonna see how, it, how it's doing and then we're gonna try it. So stay tuned. I moved this away from the coals. Um, carefully get all the ashes off the top. I don't want this to fall over. Hopefully it's not burned. Okay, so unfortunately a little bit burned, but there's enough that's not burned. This backside right here was like right in the coals and that is, that is definitely burnt. But everything from here over, as I can see all the way down, Looks like it came out really good. So I'm going to be able to enjoy at least half of this peach cobbler. I should have turned it. I had it in there for about 45 minutes. I should have probably looked at it after a half an hour. Other than that, at least we have a good amount of this that we can still eat. So right now, the most important part is we're gonna let this cool off and then we'll come back and we'll try it out. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that, it smells delicious. It actually didn't burn on the bottom like I thought it did. That came out perfect. Okay, but we're not done with just this. We need some vanilla ice cream and Oli is a nice creamy vegan ice cream. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna have one little scoop right there. Look at how good that looks, guys. Finally got my peach cobbler after all these years. Let's try this, let's get a little bit of that ice cream. Let's get a peach. And let's get the cob. Look at that. It smells peachy. Oh my God. That was a really easy recipe to make and that, that's really good. And again, that's coming from somebody that's not a huge peach fan. 
this, this stuff is good. And that was almost kind of tastes like, like an apple crisp, but with peaches. Mmm. Definitely check out that recipe. This can be done in the oven as well. Preheat your oven to 350, throw it in there for about a half an hour, and uh, you don't have to make a fire. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Don't forget to subscribe and survive. Watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time. Mmm. I actually made this recipe again the next day. It came out perfect, and I brought it with me to a potluck party with No Egg Craig. Check it out. Craig's gonna try it. Way to scoop this. I guess this is like the only cleanish one we got. Left, yeah, do it. So. Go for it. All right. Get right in there. Give it a, like a good old scoop. Yeah, I like Good. It didn't burn to the bottom. There we go. Oh wow, that, that scooped out really nicely. Yeah. All right. Perfect. We'll, have to do. we'll see how it. See how it is. I better try, try I'll let you guys know if it's terrible. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Mm. Immediately. Immediately? Really good. Awesome. I'm so happy. I'm like, oh my god, I hope it came no, out as good as the other one. The, just like the texture of like the filling and the crust is both pretty good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. There it is. Peach cobbler. Hey Eric, how's the cobbler? Oh, it is outstanding. I wish I had more mouths. <laughs> is it indulgent? It is. Especially summertime, the peaches. Oh. You liked it? I did. I'll do it again. So good.